so you know somewhere like at the end of the track here in the night looking in the mirror and what is up everybody it is your boy fry thank you once again for tuning in to another video today we're going to be looking at how to set up vocal delays like a pro we're going to be showing you uh, two different methods i'll start off with my favorite one and yeah let's get straight into it so i'll play the track a little bit and you can see how i have pretty much introduced the vocal delay via automation so you'll hear that for every bit of automation that kind of kicks in the automation is basically the main vocal being sent towards this vocal send i'll show you how to do that uh, in just a bit but i just want you to pay attention to the vocal delay let's get it so that's why i'm going past you living the fast life this shit is amazing station of fashion the are is a favorite i hop in the coupe and you know that i'm racing i'm fun to the cash now yeah i'm pippa chasing i it all baby i'm a soldier heart getting colder think i need a chauffeur rockstar lifestyle i might not make it Bowling in the backwoods hey what you say yeah So you can see how we've got a really nice subtle delay going on um you know when you've been mixing for a while you'll realize that you don't want to overdo effects you want to add these effects in as a kind of subtle you know layer to your mix all of these things are different layers within the cake so we'll kind of show you how to do that so first things first the first method i like to use is to use a send okay so what i do you can do this in any door basically is to have whatever sound you want to be delayed basically sent towards a delay channel and in this case we've got a quarter note delay send and then we've got a eighth note delay send and we're using the eighth note on an ad lib i'll show you that just now but the way i have this effect come in is basically via automation so um basically all i've done is automated this channel right here and you can pretty much see i have manually done it sometimes i like to do it manually just to get a bit more vibe going um that you can watch in a different video pretty much all i've done is um enabled automation recording and then i've pressed the record button and then as the track is playing i've basically just kind of manually brought it in and uh, that's pretty much how you get it so you know again you can use normal right click automation and then use an automation clip i do that in some videos as well all you then be doing is pretty much so for example let's just say um we had another delay here what we could then do is send that vocal towards there turn it to zero right click and then create an automation clip okay you can figure this out if you are using a different door and then boom you'll have a automation send which you could then bring in whenever you want okay so that's a different method of doing it um but you know the main idea is that you are able to send your vocal to the delay whenever you want you can do this with any sound a kick drum a snare whatever right um and this kind of mirrors the same thing that you'd be doing on a mixing console okay you have a fix send and you can turn it up whenever you want so there you go so when it actually comes to the delay um as i said before you don't want it to really be popping out too much unless you want that effect to be upfront in the mix so what i like to do is add a few effects before the actual delay just to kind of add a nice tone to the delay you don't want it to be too dry but you also don't want it to be too crazy it must match the song so if we just kind of pay attention to the delay soloed out i will kind of listen to that real quick uh let's just find a spot where the delay was more prominent um so you know somewhere like at the end of the track here in the night looking in the mirror and So when we listen to that delay there's a bit of kind of distortion on it there's a bit of reverb on it so it adds this nice kind of pre-delay to the um effect and you know that really gives us a bit more space in the mix if you pay attention to it again with context within the mix you know you can really hear that reverb right there so what i like to do i'm gonna stick to waves plugins this time around you can obviously use any distortion any compression plugin but you know uh, this really works out well you can get the waves gold bundle this is pretty much what i've been using for a while and it has this uh, guitar stomp on it and i think i've just pulled up a preset this is the chorus delight and i've probably just tweaked it a little bit so we can get some compression some pitch shifting very minimal amounts of it um some overdrive we actually turned off and then we eqing it so we're getting a bit more air going into the delay and then we are not using any flanger and then we've actually got two delays going so you know this adds a nice kind of um pre-effect to the delay if i was to turn this off we can kind of hear what that sounds like mirror mirror and mirror and 
So that's without the reverb, which we'll talk about now. But you know, most importantly, just a little bit of this guitar stomp. Mirror and kind of just hones in that delay, gives it a bit of tone. If I was to turn it up, you can hear what that sounds like. Mirror and really helps you to hear that it kind of um, grasps the delay more. But you know, main thing really is that we have our H delay. So I like using H delay because to me, this mimics your analog delays really well. Um, this is one of the few delay plugins that just work. Okay, I would highly recommend that if you are going to set up a session and you know you want to use delay, I would highly recommend that you synchronize your song to the project. That way you can pretty easily automatically just hit the uh, host or BPM button and it's going to synchronize your delay. That way you can actually make use of all of the different delay options, right? So when it comes to the delay, we really have a few options that we can make use of. We can have a really short delay, which is going to sound like a very kind of slappy sound, or we can have longer delay, delays like a half note or a quarter note. Generally, when it comes to hip hop or pop music, you're going to be making use of a quarter note delay and an eighth note delay. And we can kind of hear what that sounds like. A quarter note, you've just heard, da, da, da. It's on every quarter note bar, right? But if we were going to, to go to eighth, we'll see that it'll be a lot faster. So, mirror and right? So obviously, if you have a more up-tempo song, you might want to make use of that. For this track, it didn't really work. You know, that's a bit too fast. Obviously, again, we can go for a 16th, to no, uh, 16th note delay, and you can hear what that sounds like. Uh, let's kind of go to a different part of the track. All in the backwards, can hear what you say, yeah. Hey, yeah. You know, and that's a bit too much. We can go for 32 note delay delay as well hey, yeah. Um, hey, yeah. oh that is the other one right there um, let's just go back to here Mirror and, and you almost can't hear the delay anymore right because it's pretty much turned into a slap delay so you don't really want that um for more prominent style delays i would go for a quarter note and then a half note would sound like this Mirror and. Right, so that would be a lot longer. So we'll keep it on quarter note for now. Um, that really works well, especially if you have synchronized your track. So again, what I like to do with delays on this waves, uh, each delay is add the ping pong effect. Some people actually like to offset the phase of a left channel, and that way you get a kind of similar effect. Mirror and then you kind of get this weird skewed delay. I personally like ping pong because what it's going to do is it's going to mute the left and right channel and it'll kind of bounce in between the two. That way you don't have to do any panning. So mirror and bounces from left to right. If I was to turn off the ping pong, mirror and we get a dead centered sounding um, delay. So yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Over here we have the feedback knob. Now the feedback would pretty much control the regeneration of the delay. So with analog delays, you actually get um, basically how delays happen is it just regenerates the same signal over and over. And this feedback knob will allow you to regenerate that signal um, at a certain amount. So as you can see, I like to keep it around nine o'clock on this plugin, but if I was to turn it up, you can kind of hear it would be a lot more crazy. Mirror and it can kind of never end after you kind of hit that 50% mark. So you don't generally want to have that happen because, um, you know, when it comes to rap and pop and uh, vocal based music, you don't want sections of a song to be dragging on, right? Because obviously if there are a whole bunch of lyrics packed into a dense space, you want the effect to kind of pop out and then vanish, right? So that's where you can control that. If you just want it to, to happen once, for example, right? And just happen once, you would obviously keep it even lower than this. So Mirror and so that's twice and then that's done, right? So three, four times is probably how much you'd want. So that's pretty much what we do. So on the, um, okay, actually let's kind of go over here. So over here we have the lo-fi section, which is pretty much going to add in an EQ. This is kind of going to add a nice analog tone to your delay. Again, I like to pretty much EQ um, stuff myself, so I'm not really going to be doing that. Um, over here we've got the high pass and low pass full. So very important if you are trying to kind of you know, create a space for the vocal. You don't want the uh, delay to be too in the mix, right? I want it to kind of sound like a filtered delay. That way it's going to really uh, kind of fit in its own pocket, right? So if I was to turn this high pass filter and low pass filter off, Mirror and it doesn't really have as much kind of bite, right? But if we take out some of the lows, take out some of the extreme highs, we kind of end up with this nice uh, controlled delay. So I like to make use of filters. Um, and then obviously, again, I have filtered because I've got a reverb and I want to get rid of that and just clean it up. So that's cool. Over here, we have the wet and dry. Now, this is important if you are creating a vocal delay send. 
you want the delay to be 100% wet, meaning this channel is only going to output the delay. You don't want kind of a mix between the two happening because it's going to sound really phasey. So, you know, obviously you would use this on the vocal channel itself. We'll look at that just now, but uh, that's that. Over here, obviously you have your output control, pretty simple. Over here with the waves, we have analog emulations. Um, the sound toys plugins as well also have uh, different kind of analog themes going on basically where it's going to add a little bit of analog noise as well as a kind of curve to emulate a certain device. Um, I don't know which ones these emulate, but again, these add a very slight tone to your delay. Not really important since most delays don't have this. Um, but yeah, there you go. Really cool quarter note delay. Again, um, most engineers will have a few different delays so that they can um, have different vibes coming in on the track. So as you can see on this ad lib over here, I actually have a eighth note delay running throughout the whole track. And as you can see on this um, double right here, I actually have it permanently sent to this eighth note. So let's take a listen to that. Sin it up, baby, I'm a soldier. So as you can see, that's running throughout the track and that's just adding a nice kind of vibe to the song. So, you know, again, very simple. And just the kind of uh, rehash. Again, I like to sometimes add a little bit of reverb. As you can see, I've got about 50% um, or 45% of reverb on the quarter note delay. And again, that just adds a nice tail to the track. So you can really mess around, add all sorts of different things. You can add flanges, um, more delays. You know, you can do really cool things with delays. But yeah, that's pretty much how I would create vocal sends. Now, if you are in a rush and uh, you want to kind of instantly create a bit of a vibe, you can do pretty much what I'm doing right here with the reverb, right? You can actually add your delay onto the vocal itself. So what we'll do is we will quickly add the H delay onto here, and then I'll show you how I would add a delay onto a vocal channel without actually, um, you know, creating a send. So first things first, I would add it on last in the chain or first in the chain, depending on how I'm feeling. For some reason in this mix, I wanted the effects at the end, so we'll add them at the end. And what I want to do is I want to recreate this effect over here because I know for a fact I want a quarter note delay. So I will uh, do that. It is automatically synchronized, so that's good. I don't have to waste any time. And again, I'm going to add a ping pong effect. But this time around, I'm actually going to um, only have this come in at about 4 to 5%. That way, it's not going to overpower the vocal, but it is going to add a nice amount of depth to the vocal. So let's listen to what that sounds like. And then we will actually turn off our automation send so we just have this kind of delay going in let's get it so you can kind of hear that in the background it's just adding a nice subtle effect this is kind of like the future delay trick is really just to add a nice little amount of delay onto the vocal but as you can see here um you kind of have to compromise a little bit because the more of the delay you bring in the less of the vocal you end up getting right because you're introducing a effect and taking away from the mono main vocal so you don't really want to do that so you know that's why doing this is more a vibe thing more so than a uh delay effect right so you can do that what you can also do is pretty much move this over to milliseconds and you can actually turn this into a slap delay so anything under about a hundred 120, 110 is going to be a nice slap effect. So I'll kind of let you hear that. This is going to add a very nice kind of flangey, spacey vibe to the track. And again, that's just kind of going to add a different vibe. So there are all sorts of things that you can do when it comes to vocal effects and vocal sends and delays and all sorts of things. So yeah, man, hopefully this video helped you in some way. Definitely go and try creating this effect send, add even a stock delay. It doesn't really matter. You can actually add, for example, the fruity uh, delay too. Let's quickly set that up in place of the H delay. And again, we'll just set the time to, I'm pretty sure it's four. I like to set the offset off a little bit, turn the dry effect all the way off, and then add a ping pong effect. Exactly the same, right? Um, and then this is kind of hear what that sounds like.
And as you can see, we can achieve the exact same thing. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Definitely make sure to smash like and subscribe. Check the link in the description for this FLP, as well as the full vocal effect breakdown, where I break down all of the different effects in this mix. And check out the vocal recording course below as well. I'll check you in the next one. Peace out.